Spiritual direction is the practice of being with people as they attempt to deepen their relationship with the divine, or to learn and grow in their own personal spirituality. The person seeking direction shares stories of his or her encounters of the divine, or how he or she is cultivating a life attuned to spiritual things. The director listens and asks questions to assist the directee in his or her process of reflection and spiritual growth. Spiritual direction advocates claim that it develops a deeper awareness with the spiritual aspect of being human, and that it is not psychotherapy, counseling, or financial planning. Forms While there is some degree of variability, there are primarily two forms of spiritual direction, regular direction and retreat direction. They differ largely in the frequency of meeting and in the intensity of reflection. Regular direction can involve a one to two hour meeting every four to eight weeks, and thus is slightly less intense than retreat direction, although spiritual exercises and disciplines are often given for the directee to attempt between meetings. If the directee is on a retreat lasting a weekend, a week or even 40 days, he or she will generally meet with his or her director on a daily basis for one hour. During these daily meetings, exercises or spiritual disciplines such as Lectio Divina are given to the directee as fodder to continue his or her spiritual growth. Alternatively, retreat centers often offer direction or companionship to persons visiting the center alone. The spiritual exercises of Ignatius of Loyola are a popular example of guidelines used for spiritual direction. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Historical traditions. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Western Christianity. Within Christianity, spiritual direction has its roots in early Christianity. The Gospels describe Jesus serving as a mentor to his disciples. Additionally, Acts of the Apostles chapter 9 describes Ananias helping Paul of Tarsus to grow in his newfound experience of Christianity. Likewise, several of the Pauline epistles describe Paul mentoring both Timothy and Titus among others. Tradition tells us that John the Evangelist tutored Polycarp, the second-century bishop of Smyrna. Theologian John Cassian who lived in the 4th century provided some of the earliest recorded guidelines on the Christian practice of spiritual direction. He introduced mentoring in the monasteries. Each novice was put under the care of an older monk. Benedict of Nursia integrated Cassian's guidelines into what is now known as the Rule of Saint Benedict. Spiritual direction is widespread in the Catholic religion. A person with wisdom and spiritual discernment, usually but not exclusively a priest or consecrated in general, provides counsel to a person who wishes to make a journey of faith and discovery of God's will in his life. The spiritual guide aims to discern, understand what the Holy Spirit, through the situations of life, spiritual insights, fruit of prayer, reading, and meditation on the Bible, tells the person accompanied. The spiritual father or spiritual director may provide advice, give indications of life and prayer, resolving doubts in matters of faith and morals without replacing the choices and decisions to the person accompanying. Eastern Orthodoxy Eastern Orthodoxy comes from the same pre schism traditions, but the role of a spiritual director or elder. In orthodoxy has maintained its important role. The original Greek term geron meaning elder, as in gerontology was rendered by the Russian word starets, from Old Church Slavonic starisi, elder, derived from staru, old. The Greek tradition has a long unbroken history of elders and disciples, such as Sophronius and John Moschos in the 7th century, Simeon the Elder and Simeon the New Theologian in the 11th century, and contemporary charismatic gerontes such as Porphyrios and Piscios. Sergius of Radonesh and Nil Sorsky were two most venerated Startsi of Old Muscovy. The revival of elders in the Slavic world is associated with the name of Pisius Velikovsky who produced the Russian translation of the Philokalia. The most famous Russian starets of the early 19th century was Serafim of Sarov who went on to become one of the most revered Orthodox saints. 
The Optina Pustin near Cazelles used to be celebrated for its start C Schema Archimandrite Moses, Schema Hegumen Anthony, Hieroshemamonk Leonid, Hieroshemamonk Macarius, Hieroshemamonk Hilarion, Hieroshemamonk Ambrose, Hieroshemamonk Anatole Zirtsalov, one, such writers as Nikolai Gogol, Alexei Komayakov, Leo Tolstoy and Konstantin Leontyev sought advice from the elders of this monastery. They also inspired the figure of Zosima in Dostoevsky's novel The Brothers Karamazov. A more modern example of a starets is Archimandrite John Krestjenkin of the Pskov Monastery of the Caves who was popularly recognized as such by many Orthodox living in Russia. <inaudible> <inaudible> Judaism In Judaism, the Hebrew term for spiritual director differs among traditional communities. The verb hashpa'ah is common in some communities though not all. The spiritual director called a mashpia occurs in the Chabad Lubavitch community and also in the Jewish renewal community. A mashjok rishani is the equivalent role among mitnagadim adherents of the Musar tradition. The purpose of hashpa'ah is to support the directee in her or his personal relationship with God, and to deepen that person's ability to find God's presence in ordinary life. Amongst Lubavitchers this draws on the literature and praxis of Hasidism as it is practiced according to Chabad standards, and to Jewish mystical tradition generally. Spiritual mentorship is customary in the Hasidic world, but not necessarily in the same way. Sufism <inaudible> 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 In Sufism, the term used for spiritual master is Murshid, Arabic for guide or teacher. He is more than a spiritual director and believed to be guiding the disciples based on his direct connectivity with the divine. The Murshid's role is to spiritually guide and verbally instruct the disciple on the Sufi path after the disciple takes an oath of allegiance or bayat with him. The concept of Murshid Kamil Akmal, also known as Insan -e Kamil, is significant in most tariqas. The doctrine states that from pre-existence till pre-eternity, there shall always remain a Qutb or a universal man upon the earth who would be the perfect manifestation of God and at the footsteps of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. See also Hoapanapono Murshid Pir Notes <laughs>